Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find all five collectibles in the Diagnostics Corridor here in Jedi Survivor. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So we're gonna start from the Diagnostics Corridor Meditation Site that's located right here on your screen. And as soon as you spawn in, we're gonna work our way down this hallway. And we wanna go into this room. Now, if this giant door in front of you isn't open, just use this little machine right here and it will turn around and open and you'll have some enemies to take out. And once you take them out, you can come right over here to the middle thing and use BD1 to scan it to get your first collectible. Now, after you scan this, we want to use BD1 shock dart twice. So we're going to shoot this thing right here and it's going to turn the room. And as soon as it finishes turning, you're going to have some enemies that spawn that you need to take out. So take those guys out and then you can come back in here and do it for a second time. So we're going to do it the second time here. That's going to close that back entrance and open up this one. And you're going to have a lot more enemies in here you need to take out. Now, once you take out all the enemies that are in this room, we're going to go right over here to the end and jump up. And we're going to grab one of these little portable grapples and we're going to take it outside. So we'll hold on to it and bring it over here. And we're going to throw it right out this window. We can then jump up and grapple onto it. And if you look to the right, there's going to be another one that's out here. We can float over this way, grab onto this one, and then we want to go right through this green wall here. Now, the collectible is up top, so to get up there, we want to come back to the green wall and jump up on the ledge, and from here, we can jump, dash, and make it up top, and we'll be able to get our next collectible right here. Now, your next one's going to be directly below us. If we drop down right here on these crates, you're going to be able to find a treasure, and that'll be your next collectible. Now, after you pick up this treasure, we're going to go over here to the right, and you want to open up this shortcut here to save us a little bit of time, and we're going to head back into the room that we used BD1. Now I've already done it, but what you want to do is come in here and use BD1 shock dart ability one more time. And that's going to open up this window here without removing this room. So we can still go back inside, but this window is now open. So what we're going to do is come back over here and grab another one of those little portable grapples. And we're going to throw it outside this window. We'll bring this back over here and you guys can already see where we want to jump to. We're going to throw it outside there. We'll jump up and grapple onto it. And we're going to go grab onto this little fence. Now we're going to do some wall running here and we want to grab onto these walls that are moving. So we're going to grab onto the wall on the left and then grapple onto one of the walls that are already moving. See, we can run across here, we'll grapple onto this one, and we'll just do the exact same thing. Come over here, grapple onto this one, and that's going to lead us right here to this grapple so that we can get up top. Now once you get over here, we're going to climb the gate that's right to your right. And as soon as you get up top, look to your left, we want to drop down to this platform. So we want to do it without dying. So we'll drop here and then you can jump across and grab onto this one and then you can make it in. OK, we'll go right back over here and we want to jump up into this room. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this. It's a little annoying trying to figure out how to get up there. You can jump on this and jump across to this box and then jump up like this. You can also do it on the other side, but once you get up here in the back corner over here is going to be your next collectible. Now to get our last collectible, we've got a little bit of traveling to do. We're going to head back in the direction that we came from. So we'll jump back down here and come back around the corner and we're going to do some more wall running. When we get back outside over here, we can jump back up on this ledge. We're going to jump up and grapple on this wall and just keep grappling until we get to that little gate that's there so we can run and jump across and grab onto this gate that's going to push us across and you guys can see behind that wall we have a green wall that we want to dive through so we're going to come right over here and grapple onto one of these walls we'll run alongside of it and once we get off of it we can dash right through this green wall now as soon as you come through the green wall we're going to go to the left right over here we'll work our way back through this room and we're going to be able to grapple up top here so we're going to go right up on top and we're going to go through this room here in front of us. We're going to head all the way to the back until we can climb. So just follow this path. When we get back here, we're going to climb and just go to the right. Essentially, we're just working our way back outside. And once you climb up, we can go all the way back over here to the right side and just follow this path all the way down. You're going to have a lot of enemies, but you don't need to fight any of them. So we're just going to go past all of them, continue up this path. And when you get to the top, you're going to be able to grapple. You can come right here and grapple and you don't have to fight any of them. And once we're in here, we're almost there. We're just going to go inside and take the elevator. There's a giant elevator that's right here in the middle. If you just stand on it, it's going to take you down low just a little bit. 
And once it takes you into this room, you guys are going to see right here in front of us is our last collectible. But this is how to find all five collectibles in the diagnostics corridor. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.